What's up guys, Jake here, and in this video I'm going to be going over some of the new cards from the Hearthstone expansion, the Grand Tournament. The first one is Ram Wrangler. Now I'm going to be going very in-depth analysis of this card and give you the guys all the statistics on the beast that you can summon and your odds of getting good value on this card. So first of all, we have to clarify something on the card. It says summon a random beast. Now I'm going to go ahead and assume that it means collectible beast simply because we have Web Spinner, which also gives you a random beast in your hand. And that does not include uncollectible beasts such as, you know, hyenas that can summon from Savannah Hymen or snakes that can come from snake traps, things like that. Unstable portal is also the same. It doesn't give you, you know, uh, minions that are uncollectible. So we're going to go ahead and assume that it can give you one of the 39 beasts that are in the game when this when this set comes out. This is including all the other beasts in the grand tournament. Uh, if it does count the uncollectible ones I did the statistics on that as well and I can share that with you guys at the very end but for now I'm gonna go ahead and assume that there are 39 beasts that it can give you I averaged these all together and I got each one of the beasts to average out to something like 3.4 attack uh, and 3.7 health so if you assume that you know a uh, five mana or a three mana card rather is roughly three three stats then you're getting good value from this card because then you can assume you know that you're getting somewhere between six to seven attack and health for five mana, which is basically like a boulder fist ogre for one less mana, which is very good. Not only that, you're getting more beast synergy for your other cards such as Houndmaster, uh, Kill Command, things like that. So, uh, in that sense, it's very good. Now, I took this a step further to look at some cards um, and to do the statistics on the cards you can actually get because the averages are nice that'll give you you know the nice number between but if you actually take a look at the cards that you consider to be bad versus the cards that are you know average breaking even and good it's actually very surprising that you'll get something like 17.9% uh, of the time you're gonna get a card that's bad these are your captains parrots your stone tusk boars things like that so seven so basically 18% of the time you're gonna get something that's bad uh, twelve point eight percent of the time you're gonna be getting something that makes you break even roughly these are things like river croc or bloodfin raptor uh, things like that and sixty nine point two percent of the time you're gonna be getting a card that's good that makes you uh, get a lot of value from it so this is anything from savannah hymen king mukla king crush gazrilla you know malorn at the very end of the spectrum and then you know on the lower half of the spectrum you have cards like jungle panther starving buzzard you know, tundra rhino core rager things like that you know stampeding kodo is another example so if you add that up 82 percent of the time you're going to be getting at least the value of the card if not more so basically 70 percent of the time you're going to be getting more value for the card than you're actually playing and then at other 12 percent of the time out of that 82 percent you're going to be just breaking even and only about 18 percent of the time you're going to be getting a card that's basically bad uh, and that's just insane those are some really really good statistics on this card that show this card is actually a really great card i think a lot of people looking at it they can tell it's a good card like just looking at it yeah it looks good but when you actually do the math on it it's an absolutely insane card now let's just assume for a minute that they actually include the other 19 uncollectible beasts which like i said are things like your um your snake from snake trap you've got you know the frog that you get if you uh if you hex something you've got druid of the flame you've got other druid cards such as that you've got your huffer liak and misha cards like that if you do the statistics on that then your averages go down to something like 3.18 or 3.19 attack and 3.56 uh, health which is still very good and then your statistics are a little bit off then uh, then it's something like 25% of the time you're gonna be getting a card that's kinda bad because uh, there's a lot of really bad uncollectible ones you've got like the snakes the sheeps squirrels even you got some bad ones and then 12% of the time is about the same as uh, originally you're gonna get something that is uh, you know, makes you break even and then 63% of the time you'll be getting something that you're getting more value for so uh, If you include collectibles, there will be 58 total and 75% of the time you'd be getting uh, more value for uh, The Ram Wrangler than you normally would so if you consider that Ram Wrangler is an awesome awesome card I think it will be included in pretty much every uh, Every mid-range and control hunter deck that comes out. I do think it's a little bit unfortunate how RNG based it is because this is a card where you can literally lose games from. If your opponent gets, you know, a King Crush off of it, then you're basically just going to lose, you know, or if they get, you know, um, 
Gazrilla, things like that. It is one of those unfortunate cards where it can be like, you, you can have these rage moments, these salt moments where you're going to get something uh, really bad off of it or your opponent might get something really good off of it. So uh, in that sense, you know, hopefully you'll be always lucky, uh, not in the sarcastic sense of the word but yeah so that's ram wrangler hopefully you guys enjoyed this detailed analysis of the card if you guys want to see more breakdowns of other cards in this set and the statistics that go along with them uh, let me know i'd be happy to do them for you guys uh, so definitely leave this video a thumbs up and i'll catch you guys later peace